The third visual vengeance movie that I have picked up is Moonchild. Now, this was in a sale. Uh, I managed to pick it up in a great price along with another visual vengeance title that will be coming uh, pretty soon, I think, maybe. Um, and short and video stuff is something that I struggle a little bit with. I love the, the, the low down nature of trying to make a movie and doing it as, in a low cost way. I just wish the picture was better and the audio was better and sometimes you would find um, a diamond in the rough. Now I went into Moonchild and you're looking at the, the, the sort of cover art and this gnarly werewolf and I'm thinking horror movie about a werewolf and I was pleasantly surprised to discover that I was thrown into a dystopian future at the start of this one. There is a big bad company, we get the, their kind of general who is one of the worst performers in the film and every time he came on there was a smile on my face because yes, he was awful, but my goodness, he was entertaining. We do not allow escapes here. Catch him and terminate him. And we get introduced to our main character, Jacob Stryker, a man who's escaped from a government facility um, just before they're about to wipe his mind because he's been given some kind of specialist uh, ability that he doesn't know about yet. At certain points when he gets emotionally angry, like the Hulk, he's going to wolf out into a rabid machine uh, uh, and kill people. But bad guys, you know, not the good guys. And as he escapes, he meets up with the resistance. He gets drawn into their fight against the, the evil corporation. And we watch these people try to battle it out. And then we find out Stryker's got a son and doesn't, don't you know what? The, the general's got him, the bad guy. So Stryker is not only helping the resistance, but fighting for his own family to get back there and save his son. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Caleb, why? Why won't you help me? Because you're worthless and weak. You turned your back on me and my mother. It's such a, a kind of fun storyline, which I wasn't expecting in this one. And there are dotted sequences of action all the way through it. But unlike some other shot and video stuff, I felt the story was rather strong. If not original, it still had some good moments, some interesting characters and although the budget is minimal and they can't really expand on a lot of the things that they want to do, the bones, the skeleton of the piece is most definitely there and I really like the storyline. In fact there's one good transformation later on uh, with the wolf which you don't see happen too often in the movie because budget like I said, um, you get some car chases, particularly right at the start, hand-to-hand -hand combat sequences. Now, nothing is truly outstanding, but it's all pretty decent in a shot on video kind of way. Early 90s, fun, throwaway action movie with a really terrific story which I kind of liked. Some of the set pieces are really fantastic and um, like I said, even the bad parts of the film, like the general, the bad guy, the guy who uh, was so terrible an actor, I didn't really care because it added to the aesthetic of the film. It made it so much fun. Um, this is another one of those movies that I had never heard of. Uh, Visual Vengeance are, are I, I'm always on the fence about some of their stuff. Um, I loved uh, Muscle Bodybuilder in Hell. I thought it was terrific. This is kind of, it's fine. It's enjoyable. I was never bored throughout the film. Uh, we'll see how we go on with the next one. I don't know if I'm going to continue with these or not. If I can get them at good prices, I may. If you're interested in watching me babble on about shot on video crazy movies that see one thing and, and show another, like the wolf, it's everywhere, you know, it's Moonchild it's called, but you, you only see him wolf out, I think, twice, maybe three times in the movie. Uh, yeah, you can let me know in the comment box whether you want more of these Vigil Vengeance reviews or not. Uh, and, and just small sneak peek, the next one I've got is Blood of the Chupacabras. Will it be fun? I, I don't know. Join me where I will talk more about Visual Vengeance. Uh, let's 
Shall we jump in and have a little look at some of the extras on this disc? Because there are some notable things here. So here we are in the disc for Moonchild. Let's go into the extras. We have a commentary with the director and star. Uh, we have another commentary with the director and Rob Hoshield of Visual Vengeance. We have Wolfman Rising, the making of documentary, which is 31 minutes, 39 seconds. It's an archival piece. It's really quite fun. We have the original behind the scene cast and crew interviews, which is 9 minutes 30. They slip up giving away some uh, information here, but generally looks pretty fun. We have the Moon Child uh, VHS trailer, which is 1 minute 1 second. Then we have the Moon Child original VHS release version. Now, this is 1 hour 29 minutes 25 seconds, and is actually pretty good uh, quality considering. We have the deleted ending, which is 2 minutes 3. There is a short film, Sanguinary Desires, which is 13 minutes 2 seconds. Bunch of people uh, enter this kind of competition for money, unbeknownst that they're just going to be a buffet for vampires. Then we have the music video Dissension, which is 3 minutes 52 seconds. We have the trailer for um, Todd Sheets' Bone Hill Road, which is from 2017, we get a Visual Vengeance trailer as well, which is 59 seconds. And in addition to that, we get a poster and we get the CD soundtrack as well. It's a great deal of extras. So there we have it. Moon Child uh, by Visual Vengeance. Uh, this is a limited slipcover set. We get a, another wonderful cover there, which is indicative of the spirit of the movie but not the actual film itself. Uh, inside this one we have the booklet, we've got the little uh, stickers, we've got the poster, um, and we have got a soundtrack in here as well. <laughs> it's a pretty stacked release for a movie that I'm pretty sure nobody was really clamouring for. But there we have it. I would love to know your thoughts on Moonchild if you've seen it. Did you love it? Did you? Did you hate it? why or did you fall somewhere in the middle let me know in the comment box below i can't wait to read your comments on this one are you going to check it out have you seen it please let me know i want to have a conversation on moon child there is more content up here if you want to see more of my stuff and in the description box below are links to the patreon the membership program and manvfilm.com always in which you can support me thanks for watching and i'll see you next time